Hello, my name is Fran Power. I'm the Operations Manager here at the new Vaccination Centre at Brafey House in Castlebar. Currently, we are vaccinating very high-risk members of our community. And over the next couple of weeks, we will move to the wider community and ultimately vaccinate 2,500 people per day here at our centre in Brafey House Resort, Castlebar. Hi, my name is Mary Ward, Head of Health and Wellbeing Community Healthcare West. Our community vaccination teams have completed the vaccination programme in older people's residential services. Last week, we completed the programme in disability residential services. And next week, we move on to disability day services. To date, we've administered over 17,000 vaccines. I'm delighted to be here today at Brafey House in the large vaccination site, supporting our SAILTA colleagues in the delivery of the vaccination to the high risk category of patients in the community. I'm Catherine Donoghue, the hospital manager in Mayo University Hospital. Um, it's a great day today to be here in um, Brafey House where we're rolling out the vaccination of all of our community. You know, we're delighted the fact that we have got our staff done in the hospital where I think we've delivered now in excess of 4,000 vaccinations between first and second dose for our staff. But all our staff want is that our patients are safe. And to be able to be here today seeing that the first group of the vulnerable patients have started to be vaccinated and knowing that we're planning to support this programme here with our staff so that over the coming weeks we'll be able to extend that out to the lesser vulnerable groups of the population so that eventually we'll be in a position where Mayo as a county becomes safer and safer week on week. So it's a great day for Mayo today. We're all very proud of what has been achieved to date and that has been laid out um, in the hospital by the Director of Nursing, Farag Olunik and the team of staff in the hospital who have maintained this vaccination programme. And it's great to be able to hand this over now to Fran Power and his team here and that we can support them along that journey.